Hi everybody, how you guys doing out there? Amazing weekend right here. Now this is a quick update. I want to keep this sweet, short and simple. Triple S, sweet, short and simple. Now this is still your own Dr. CT from the Guided Dreams. Now IRCC has brought up some clarifications about the PGWP eligibility. Now this has settled most of the issues revolving around two particular topics. One is the language and two is the field of study. Now, IRCC, I will keep this, like I said, short and simple. Now, if you submitted your study permit before November 1, 2024, and you are about to apply for your PGWP before November 2024, you don't need the English test. But if you submitted your study permit before November 1, 2024, and you are going to be applying for your PGWP after November 1, on or after November 1, 2024, then you need the English test. That is point number one. Simply means that even those studying right now can still apply for their PGWP without requiring any English test. Point number two. If actually that you submitted your application, that is your study permit, after November 1, 2024, get ready to get your English test. And also, get ready to ensure that your field of study is in these key sectors. Talking about agriculture and agri-food sector, the healthcare, the STEM, trades, and the transportation. I repeat, agri and agri-food, healthcare, the STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, the trades, the transportation. Make sure you study a course in these fields. That is the only way you can be eligible for PGWP going forward. This is very simple now. If you want to know the details of all the courses that are eligible, there is a link I will put in the comment section of this video. Check out our link. Take your time. Go through it. you find all the eligible courses so that you can choose wisely and be eligible for your postgraduate work permit even after now. So remember, those studying now, and will apply for PGWP before November 1, 2024, you don't need an English test. Two, those who submitted study permit, but who apply for PGWP after November 1, then you will need only English tests, irrespective of the field of study. Lastly, those who will submit their study permit after November 1, you must get an English test and also, you must ensure that your field of study is in these sectors that I've listed before. And what is the English qualification that you require to, um, to present? If you're a graduate of any university, your CLB, whether in English or French, must be band seven. But if you're a graduate from any college, your CLB, whether in English or French, must be banned five. So that is in a nutshell, the new clarification by IRCC on the changes brought about in the postgraduate work permit for students in Canada. If you found this insightful, please like this video, share and join our community. It's simple. It's very simple. Subscription is free. Click the subscription button below and you will be glad that you did. Thank you very kindly for being with us on this one. And as usual, I will see you in yet another one. Bye-bye.